Hi everybody, this is Debbie and today I'm going to show you how to make this design I created. It's the back. And I really love how the bands go together. And here it is using these, these gorgeous, it's the Cupid Collection mix. I just love this red. And that's what it looks like behind. You really don't see these bands. Um, and any of you who have watched my um, Conqueror design, this one right here, when I was making this, this particular one here, um, I was trying to make this design. And something happened, and this came out, which I actually really, really love. So that's why I chose it to um, enter in Amanda and Monica's um, Loom for a Cause contest uh, of childhood cancer. You'll have to check on their um, Instagram page, and you'll you'll find it. Um, every week they try to do a different awareness, you know, of a of a childhood disease. So anyhow, I made this and then I tried for the darndest and I couldn't figure out how to make this. And I finally figured out what I did wrong. Apparently, after I had made these, I thought for some reason I could make a shortcut and I, instead of the bands going up here and up, I angled them. Well, by shorting myself one band up the side, um, I wound up with that other design. So now I'm going to show you how to do this one. And it's it's almost exactly exactly the same as, as, as um, band placement. And the looming back is almost the same. But there's one little bit of difference. One tiny difference makes a completely different design. I mean, other than the borders being similar they don't look anything alike so let's get going um, on this one my a color is the the blue the um, arctic blue and I am using what am I using for this oh I am going to use the um, medieval neon green I think it is the 300 count. I'm going to try the thicker um, bands. I did it on this one and didn't like it, but I only used the clear jelly, and I think maybe that's why I don't don't like it as much. But anyways, so those are the A color bands, the B bands, which you really don't see so much. You see them a lot more in this design, the gold here. You just see a pop of color. The B bands, I'm going to use the 300 count Sweets Orange for color C, which are the ones that are going to go up the um, border only on the sides, which are the um, frost pink here. I am using the, um, this is the metallic um, silicon purple. They're ones that um, Christy from Chitero underscore bling sent me in this huge box of, of prizes when I won third place in her contest a long time ago. Um, these have more of a like a silvery pearlescent outside where the other ones are kind of you know purple all the way on the outside. So, but I really like these. So that's going to be these bands, and they kind of pop up right here. Then the other color. Let's see, this color right here, which are, um, well, I can't remember if those are part of the Cupid collection, but they're they're almost the same shade of pink, but they're, they get the silver sparkle and a 600 count. For those that go up here, I am using, what am I using? Oh, <laughs> I'm using the Solar Pink. Okay. And then finally, which you really don't see these, where I used the border color, the Arctic Blue, I'm going to be using the Neon Green Opaque because I I don't want as much bulk and you, you don't even see those on this design. On this one, the color does peek out a little. Let me see if I can show it on a different... Ah, 
Okay, maybe on this one. On this one you can see the per the uh, maroon which I used on this one a little tiny bit, but on this one you don't see it at all. Okay, let's get going. Uh, we're going to start out placing a band across here. That's going to be my like closer band afterwards. And the only difference on this one, instead of going up to here, which is what I did on the um, Conqueror design, you're going like this. And then up. Oh, these are going to be a pain to put on. So we're going to do it here, then here, and then go all the way up each side. And you're pretty much, you're going to go all the way up. And you definitely need, oh, I should show you, you definitely need double length. Um, you might even want to do a third extension of length and then probably do, what, maybe four more sections, maybe five. You don't want to do a whole three, you know, you don't want to do three looms lengths. It'll be way too long, but you probably might want to do like, six or six pins up maybe six or seven to make it long enough unless you want to put a a small um small extension i'll probably put a couple bands on each side or, or to maybe just a band on each side to to make it uncomfortable so anyways you're going to go all the way up and when you get to the second to the last pin of whatever length you're doing you're going to go here and then here i will come back and show that but i don't want to be stressed out on camera trying to get these bands to you know sit sit nice and pretty on my my pins on my pins I figure you know what they always mess up and you gotta kind of snap them back into shape so might as well put them on as neatly as possible so if you're not quite sure how to finish off the border you know just stop when you think you've got it as long as you want and I'll show you how to do the last two um, bands on each side for the border. Um, as I was placing my bands I was thinking about how see, this was my little segment I did it looks terrible I just was using like reused bands and stuff but I was thinking like this is the you know the cap end and this is this end right here and see how this is kind of comes around nice and this one's kind of out a little I was wondering and and this last band right here isn't really necessary so I'm gonna leave this part unfinished for now and as I place the other bands I'm going to decide if I if I can um, change how I finish the this part of it off Wait, wait a minute. No. Ah! This is the end I'm worried about. Ugh! Oh well. You know what? Once it's all wrapped up, you're not going to see it, but this is going to have to be like it is. Never mind. Forget, 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 forget. Okay. <laughs> so easy to get backwards on, on designs, which end is up. Okay. So let's finish this off because ignore what I said doesn't make any sense after all. So you're going to place one horizontally like that to match the other end even though it doesn't finish off quite the same way. Don't know why but it doesn't. I suppose if I thought about it more I'd figure it out but oh, why waste the energy? No one's going to see it underneath that part of your wrist. And once it's kind of all pulled together and clipped, you know, it tightens up so you don't even notice it. Okay, next step, it's pretty much like, it's going to be the same as the Conqueror design. I have an idea of what I want to name this one. So you don't do this, um, this set of um, pins. You go up to the next one. So you're pretty much, what you're doing is you're straddling 
and cross these two pins this on the second and how many one, two, three, four, <laughs> second and fifth and then you'll be pulling it down over here and up over here so that's pretty much what you're doing and so make sure these are have a, enough stretch to them sometimes the sweeps are kind of tight but these orange are pretty stretchy because um, if you did the oh no my battery's lights going on darn it all right anyways I'm gonna do that all the way up to this last set so just make sure they're stretchy enough because um, they will they do kind of have a lot of tension on them okay and I'll be back with a new battery alrighty new battery um, as I was placing these on since they are a tighter band I've been giving them a little like stretching them out um, the tighter the band the less you'll see of it like you really can't you can barely see the yellow I mean just there's a hint of it but you probably can't even see it on screen but on this only a trial one just examine um, the blue bands were looser and so it's even at rest or and maybe it's some of the other bands too but um, yeah, depending how tight your bands are around this will depend on how much of the middle will show up so I'm not quite sure how to advise you but I do know that the way these bands are going to be loomed um, that the tighter they are the less you'll see of them all right that's why I kind of like to use a brighter color or, or a, you know a distinct contrasting color too so that it does pop up a, pop out a little okay the third thing we are going to do um, are the bands that are here and make these beautiful little loops right here and here and uh, that's where I'm using these metallic metallic um, purple and so you're going to start here you're just going to go up the side where the border is straight not down here okay so I'm going to try to do this quickly so I can stay on camera A moment of silence where I didn't say something. <laughs> oh, I do have something to tell you though. Um, a few months ago, I did a very short um, video. You know, I posted on, uploaded it onto YouTube, like a preview of the designs that were coming up. And I had done another uh, one that looked similar to my bandeau. It was a little bit different. And one of them, it was just such awesome colors. I just loved it so much. And do you know what, when I came out of this room, which I have the door closed because of the air conditioning on, um, I found it shredded on the living room floor. Mm-hmm. Cider, he has decided that he wants to tear up my bracelets. I found one the other day, but I think it was just one of my practice bands, so I wasn't, like, freaked out. But this one was gorgeous and it was going to be my next tutorial which is one reason why I had it out but I also right next to it, I had this box that I had different bands in and in that box were the bracelets that both um, Trish at Artisan Loom and um, Christy at Chidaro underscore bling had sent me it's like I oh my gosh he would have become he would have become a sausage stuffing <laughs> if he had gotten those oh my gosh you know what it's my fault he's a pup and his owner's fault too my daughter's she likes to kick him out of her room when he's whining so yeah she doesn't pay, check and confirm that somebody's going to be watching him so he was let alone you know how little kids are when you leave them alone 
not to be trusted, get into mischief. Yeah. I can just see him. You know, you know those rope toys for dogs? We get the biggest, thickest ones, and he shreds them like, like you like could see a wild animal shredding meat off a bone. And we have clumps of, 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 um, stringy doggy toy clumps of them all over the floor. So I could just see him going at this. Hopefully they snapped him in the face a little bit and taught him a lesson. Actually, when I was stretching out the orange ones, my tongue, well, a little red here. It hurts more than it looks. <laughs> you know, I was stretching out like this and I accidentally let go and ping. You know what happens when you do that with a rubber band. Oh, it hurts. Smarts. So maybe he got a couple little snaps in the snout. <laughs> that'll, that'll teach him. Not to, not to the point of injury, but just the point of doggy beware. Do not touch your mommy's bracelets. Oh, now I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna do that one again in the Fortunately there was just like this little teeny little teeny section left so I could I realized what it which design which band in a bracelet it was and how I had placed the colors on it because I love the colors on that one so much. It might be on that um, video I posted on YouTube, but I don't know. I hadn't quite thought that far eh, because I was in such a panic when I saw the destruction of all my hard work. So there was just enough left. Probably too little for him to get a hole between his paws and rip at with his teeth, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I was able to jot down what colors were used where so I can remake it. All right, so we did that. Now we're going to place the bands up here, and those I am using the Solar Pink, and so you're just going to go straight up the second and the fifth column of pins all the way to the border. So I'm going to go to this pin and to that pin. And then while you're at it, because I'm going to go sit down, I just enjoy sitting with my feet up. My blood pressure is happier. It stays up higher. So the last two, which you pretty much don't even see these on this design, um, but I'm keeping them so they coordinate with the, they're not quite the same neon green as the neon Persian, I mean medieval. So then you're going to do both these two rows like this, but they're both neon greens. I don't understand some of their Rainbow Looms coloring, to tell you the truth, because some of their neon colors are really dull, and some of the colors, like, they have different, you know, the different types of bands. They'll be the same color. Like, the, the, um, which one's the Persian navy blue? It's like a light blue. It's, it's kind of like this shade of blue. Yet, the, you know, other navy blues are like, what's this? Where's that? Oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, where are you? Right here. I think this one is a navy blue, and it's dark. And then, like, the, I think the, um, Jelly and opaque, which are dark blue or navy. I think they call them navy, but anyways, yes. Yeah. So I don't know who's in the color color naming department, but anyhow, this is the neon green, and this is the medieval 300 count neon green. So I'm going to do these four columns, and I will be back. This is what it looks like with all the bands, except. Right now we're going to put a cap here, so I'm going to just turn it around. The cap will go across these two bands. Essentially, I could just tell you to go over to my other, you know, um, Conquer tutorial and just follow the directions on looming it back because it's pretty, it's pretty much the same routine, but it comes out all different. Just like my um, if you ever checked out my um, okay, so now we're gonna reach under 
and grab these bands here that were stretched across and you're going to do that on either side. See this is why I said make sure they're stretchy and consider how tight they are because it'll make this design go like this or it'll be more relaxed. So you can do it up one, you know, you can do it up all on one side like this if you want. And then come back and do the other side or just go back and forth. It's up to you. Ugh. Anyways, I should have brought my tablet in here to show you, but I'm just too lazy. But if you, you know, on the page where all our like little posts are, um, if you scroll down and find um, the inspired design, the extraordinaire is right, real close by. Well, they were. I did two of them in the exact same colors, and on that design, on both those designs, the bands were placed exactly the same way. The only difference is on one of them, I started with the purple band, and the other one I ended. You know, the last bands to be looped were the purple, and I, I'm pretty sure they were all like looped exactly the same like directions, you know, to the same pins or uh, but those two designs look totally different. So that's why I think when and I'm glad people ask. But if you're truly like not consciously or subconsciously mimicking or just do or you know, repeating a design you just did in um, claiming it as your own, if you truly just, okay, here's some bands, here's my loom, let's make a design. When you start getting past, you know, four, four more bars across, I, I, it's next to impossible. The different combinations, the order you place them in, how you loom them back, and, the, you know, just reaching under and looming, like this one, the underbands first, taking them to a non-home pin. There's just so many variables that copying should be next to impossible. Now, when, you get to, when you're only two or three, then, you know, there's more limitations. Two or three um, bars across. There's more room for um, accidentally copying, and I actually did that on a couple designs, um, which I did make note of once I did the tutorial and posted it, you know, published it, and didn't realize it. I changed my title to give claim to where the claim was due, but. You know, on those two designs, it can, oh, inspired, inspired, I think it's inspired, and extraordinaire. Those were only three bars across, and I just changed one thing, just the order of one band. Everything else was, you know, they were all placed the same, everything, and totally different design. So I think that's what's so fascinating about this. Now that, you know, we've, we're doing seven, eight, ten, even more bands, uh, bars across, it's, the, the, the options are infinite. I'd like to see a new technique come out, but I think we might have figured out every darn way to place loom whatever on on the um, these designs There's nothing new under the sun as Solomon says and I think that happened that place has happened you know 
has happened for us Rainbow Loom designers. But now it's about combining all those techniques, all those stitches, in different ways. If I didn't stay on camera the whole time, on sc or on screen, been on, I'm on camera. I'm just, might not be here. Um, you know, I was just doing the same thing all the way up. Okay. Now that we've done that, the attention case. We're going to take these two bands right here, one here. Just bring this one up for now, just to get it out of the way. Then we are going to take this band and bring it over. And then we're going to bring this one straight up. We're going to bring this one over. And we're to bring this one over here. Big difference is the way I was doing it in the other one, this band was actually being placed first and this one was coming over it. That's a that's basically the only difference in in the design and it you know totally made a different bracelet so hey I got two designs for the price of one <laughs> and then okay the final in um, setup step is this one and then we are going to do the exact one two three one two three as in um, Con Conqueror okay so one you're reaching here I'm reaching in here whoops keep that down there for now bring that one forward two is you're bringing this to the pin next to its home pin and three you're reaching underneath and bringing this border band up okay so on this side go down grab this Reach here, grab this top border band, and bring it next to its home pin. And then bring the border band, just one of them, straight up. Okay, I'll do that a couple more times. And uh, the clue of where you left off, this little line right here, um, that's where you need to go in and grab it. See, so there's that line for the next, to remember which pin to go to. This is right here. So this is one, two, three. You know, after all these are done, you're pretty much going to reach and, and Do these? I mean, you could do either. Or. These don't interact with over here, so you're going to do this up, the, up both. So if you want to just go ahead and do all those, you can just fast forward to the very end. Um, so you've got this going on over here. Those three steps over and over again. One, two, three. Here's this, so that's where we're going to start. One, two, 
three. One, two, three. Okay. And after you've done those until you can't do them anymore, um, then you can go back and do these like this. Okay. on each of the two middle. I don't really need to come back and show you this because you do all of these and then all of these. They're completely independent of each other so I've given you plenty of the, um, I think footage to see how to do this and these two are just straight um, single change pretty much. You just the thing to make sure is you're gonna go you know and pull this top part of this band, if you see it, so right here, this thing right here, just that one part, and then the band is right there. Just pull it up. That's all there is to it, okay? And I'll see you at the top of the loom. All right, I've pulled most of this off the loom. Um, this is like the underside, and this will be the top side. And this design does take a lot of kind of quite a bit of this to get it all right. But anyhow, if you follow my directions, instructions, and you know, you did this last full sequence, which all ended up here, and then you did the single chains up to here, the last thing to do is to finish the borders. Just four bands, two on each side. And then grab a clip. So you're going to pull this out here. And this here. So now we can finish taking it off the loom. Making sure that that's secure. All righty. So there she is, not looking so good right now. It has to be like this to get it all even. Oh, this one turned out longer. How weird is that? So, yeah, this is definitely, and it's stretchier too. So, what you have to do is where the bands didn't come out right, you just kind of go like that. It kind of turns them right. Sometimes it, it's not that simple. It's like that one. You don't want to cooperate. But if you keep snapping it, and trying different ways eventually all comes together and then so just look it over and any bands that are get a little like this one's a little turned around you know just snap it into place and I think this is pretty it's all pastel -y and soft and definitely you can see the um, you get a glow of the sweets orange even though you can't really see it because these are partially transparent, it kind of gives an interesting glow. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. <laughs> so anyhow, um, thank you for watching this tutorial and hopefully making a rendition. A rendition? Rendition? I type it a hundred times, but, you know, making a rendition. Um, feel free to subscribe to me here at Deb's Thing, and I would really love to have you follow me at Deb's Thing on Instagram. Dang. The little fuzzies that get on with our high definition cameras. You see all the fuzzies. Way to do fix that real quick tip. Um, I found that running it underwater, but then you have to really dry it off and snap it and get all the all the water let it dry because then all the <laughs> all the water droplets tiny tiny little water droplets show up. 
but it gets rid of the fuzz. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.